Talk to me a little bit about Harry. Harry Fairchild. Um, <laughs> Harry Fairchild. Who is right here. Hello, Harry. Hi, Harry. Hi, Harry. Harry Fairchild. Um, I met Harry a year ago, but it feels like I've known him for a long, long, long time. Um, unbelievable. Unbelievable showman, table tennis player, but, you know, singer, karaoke. Cool. The bo Harry's the boss, yeah, and he knows it. He's great. But in terms of his table tennis, he's been playing as part of the Grace Air Sports for All sessions, one hour a week at the Brighton News Centre. It's actually now an hour and a half. Myself, Wenway, Francesco, we're all doing the coaching. About 20 players there every week. Fantastic, fantastic session. Um, we actually went along to cover that recently in Eastbourne. Um, so, and they've just had um, sort of the second wave of funding, have they not? They have, they have. They've got an unbelievable amount of money. They've got 412,000 for Brighton and Hove for three years of sport. They've just got another 300,000 to go into East Sussex. And Harry went to launch the East Sussex table tennis as the pub. I know, you were there. The ambassador. So throughout Ping, you know, Harry was there every day. His dad's, his dad's over there. His dad built him a table in the garage at home. So we all go around his house and play table tennis and get fed. It's quite good. <laughs> It's we're going to have a little look now, and we're going to have a little look now, because we were actually there, I was there when I was speaking to you. So we've got a little clip of, of that from last week at Eastbourne, so let's have a look at that now. So about 18 months ago, we uh, were successful in Grace, we were successful in funding um, to run this sports rule project in Bryant Hove and West Sussex. Um, East Sussex commissioning team from the County Council came to us and said, would we be able to extend the project into East Sussex? Um, and we said, not with the current funding, but we know round two of these Sport England inclusive funds open applied for that funding, got another £300,000 to extend the project into East Sussex. What other, what other sports have you had a go at today? Um, today I do table tennis and rowing the boa near the small boa. How was that? What did you, how did you find that? Uh, very, very good, Baba, very good. It, I do, it's it, very, very easy to do it. it hold the boa, hold the boa very, very nicely, but you're, but, but you're running it down run hand out and roll it down the hole near the ball. So, as I spoke to John about, today is sort of like a launch, and but the, the sort of your week-on-week -week, um, interaction with these groups isn't going to be the same as this, I take it. It's going to be a lot more reflective of what people learn and find out today. Yeah, exactly. So what you need to think about today is that it's like a big taster event to try all the sports and then the idea is that there'll be regular sessions for each of the sports individually. It's not necessarily about being competitive, but it's about you know, social skills, mental skills, physical skills, and then developing also a way that you can, like, act with other people. So it's not just your current community groups. You're working with other people from outside of your local and like networks. So, the the sort of the legacy in East Sussex of, of this of, of what has already happened. How do you see it developing over the next year, the next three years, with this funding? So what I see is we've got the target for about, I think it's over 1,200 people that we're trying to kind of engage into the sports sessions. So I'd like to see more people taking part, more inclusive sessions, because I think that's particularly important. Um, we're focusing obviously on disability specific for now, because we need to identify what people are into and what people would like, what people are interested in and their needs. So there we go. And I'm now with Harry Fairchild. Hello, Harry Fairchild. How are you doing today? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Now, we met last week. We've actually met before. I interviewed you when you played against Bill Randall back in the day and you won the, I don't know what it was, St James's Street ping tournament. Um, talk to me a little bit about how you got into table tennis. How old were you when you first started playing? Well, uh, well, how old, uh, well, how old am I I played table tennis? I, 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 was, I was 54. 54? You were 54 oh, when you started uh, Yeah. So you, you've... you've if I want, I want access to your time machine. Can I have access to your time machine? Is that right? Um, yes, that's right. Yes. Um, um, I've watched you play. I watched you play against Joseph, and I'm not going to lie, he struggled against you, didn't he? So, how do you feel like um, competitively? Do you feel like you you are can beat most people? Um, yes, I do. Yes, I, I, I did play not of people like Matthew and Benny. You know, as well as you said, to chop, up. Um, I did, I did a very, very good at playing table tennis in front of me. OK. And how often do you play, finally? I play table tennis a lot of times. Um, four times a week now? Four, four times a week. Four times a week. And at home as well. With my house man, so Tracy Fletcher and my dad. Wicked. That is a lot of table tennis. We're going to go to a break now because, like I say, we've got loads going on. I'm going to be speaking to Ashley Edwards when we get back, who won a Young Volunteer of the Year at the Sports Awards last night. See you in a bit.